the FBI and the 9-11 attacks. New allegations, the agency missed important warnings. We'll have more on a new book, Raising Troubling Questions. Straight ahead. The attacks of 9-11 set in motion a chain of events that culminated in the war in Iraq. Now, a new book being released today, 1,000 Years for Revenge, International Terrorism and the FBI, details what it says were failures by the FBI to follow up important leads that could have prevented those attacks. In 1993, Terrorist leader Sheikh Omar Rahman was indicted, and four others were on trial for the bombing of the World Trade Center. But according to author Peter Lance, the FBI missed the clues that could have foiled the later 9-11 attacks. They still didn't see the bigger picture. They still didn't see Osama bin Laden's presence, and they still didn't see that this was an international ongoing conspiracy. Ramzi Youssef, the bomb maker responsible for the 1993 World Trade Center bombing, had fled to the Philippines where police discovered his bomb factory. Yusuf again escaped, but his accomplice was arrested and spilled the chilling plot to Philippine police colonel Rodolfo Mendoza. The police colonel Mendoza is seen in this taped interview talking to writer Lance. And then later he said that there was a plan at least to hijack planes and fly them into targets in the United States. August the United States what? CIA building in London, Virginia. And then did he mention any other targets to you? He mentioned... Later, later. He told me about the uh, possibility of uh, hitting Pentagon. He told me also that uh, there is an unidentified uh, nuclear facility. Mendoza provided one more piece of information. And he said there were 10 Islamic pilots at that moment in 1995 in America training in U.S. flight schools. Colonel Mendoza, says Lance, gave the evidence to the U.S. Embassy, including information that Osama bin Laden was funding Ramzi Youssef's plots. This once secret FBI analysis, written later that year, appears to confirm the evidence was passed on to the FBI, stating that Youssef in Murad also discussed future attacks in the U.S., including possibly flying a plane filled with explosives into the CIA building. And by diminishing the evidence that Boogie Mendoza turned over to them in 1995, they again incredibly dropped the ball on 9-11. In February 1995, Youssef was captured in Pakistan. His uncle, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, a high-ranking Al-Qaeda member, was arrested this past March. Widely considered the mastermind of the 9-11 plot, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, Lance maintains, was implementing his nephew's plan. The same plan that Philippine police had uncovered and, Lance says, the FBI never acted upon. They didn't want to admit, the senior officials in the FBI did not want to admit that they could have stopped Ramzi Youssef. And they certainly didn't want to draw a line between Ramzi Youssef and the bin Laden and the attacks of 9-11. Peter Lance says the basic problem is the FBI is designed to solve crimes, not prevent them. There's little doubt in my mind that Al-Qaeda is an amazingly lethal entity that bin Laden continues to call the shots surrounded by these radical Egyptians and that in fact they will strike America again sometime in the near future there's no doubt in my mind for accuracy and fairness CBS News requested an interview with the FBI about all this but the agency said that officials there have just begun looking into the charges made in this book and that the FBI is not yet in a position to respond 